Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Doc Luxury and I'm here with another video. This time, so I did not want to film another one of these videos just because I'm usually a more happy kind of person and <clears throat> ever since my last video about the raffles have um, you know been uploaded I have received a lot of um, DMs I've had a lot of comments on that video and I've even seen my name pop up on some of those um, what shall we call them like the gossip um, websites and <clears throat> I'm here to basically say that it's just gone too damn far and we really need to stop and so I'm not even gonna put my usual intro and I'll likely not even put my outro either because like I said this is a little bit of a different kind of video for me and I just thought I needed to come back on here and talk to you guys and you know use this video the comments down below to you know for you guys to voice your opinions and and whatnot because in other places people are able to delete comments and <clears throat> you know leave comments that they want people to see and I won't be deleting any of the comments on this video so yeah so the first thing I wanted to say is that I am no longer going to be participating in any kind of raffle, any kind of form, in any capacity. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm basically, I give up. I'm not going to do it anymore. <clears throat> so these raffles are totally ripping the luxury community here on YouTube and on Instagram totally apart and why I wanted to film this video is I mean I'm not a very big channel and you know my voice is just one of plenty but I thought I would make this video to try to bring people back together and you know talk about the stuff that I originally signed up um, you know for this community and that is fashion and luxury and things that make us feel good not not these raffles and so I have a full um, page of notes here that I typed out because I want to make sure that um, I didn't miss anything here and I'm not doing this video to cause any more drama I just want to um, you know try and stop these these raffles um, of course it's up to you guys to you know choose whatever you want to do support these raffles not support these raffles it's just my you know my opinions here so ever since that video has aired the one that I filmed last week I in that video I basically figured out and this is a legitimate legitimate way to make these raffles um, legal but people someone has um, had the nerve to basically tell me that I had no ethics and I deleted that comment because who are you to basically tell me that I had no ethics I think I'm a good person and all I was trying to do is you know get rid of stuff that I no longer wanted I never wanted to make like lots of money in profit from these raffles I just wanted to rehome some of the things that I've been having a hard time selling all right so what else do I have on here so um, <clears throat> the thing about deleting comments, like I said, is if you go to these other pages, either on Instagram or on YouTube, they're not going to have any bad comments on there. So they deleted all of them. And if you have nothing to hide, you know, supply the evidence or, you know, all the information that people are wanting from you, just so you're not, um accused of anything that you're that you believe that you're not um 
that you're not doing anything wrong, basically. Okay, so, like I said, I have had several people, a lot of people actually, contact me, and they have receipts. I mean, they, they have screenshots and everything, but I am not going to show any of that here. I'm not going to name any names, but like I said, the point of this video is to try and stop these raffles and to try to bring the luxury community back together. All right, so some of the allegations that I have heard is that these raffles, there are some, there are reports of basically a illegal raffle ring of several women and men, I guess, that are basically in it together. They're winning each other's raffles and basically splitting the profits. And I'll give you two words, and that is profiteering and racketeering. Both are illegal. Look it up. <clears throat> and since, um, let's just call her Raffle Princess because she's not even the kingpin here. She, when she got her um, <clears throat> PayPal account taken away, there has been more and more raffles going on. There have been people going into DMs to conduct these raffles. They are going into hiding. This is basically some criminal bullshit that's going on here. And so there has also been allegations of fake Instagram accounts that are winning these raffles that are basically the Instagram accounts of the raffle holders. There's an allegation or a report of one person, and let's call this person, let's call her Mommy. Now that's a hint to who this is. And she is the kingpin of these raffles. She has reportedly made over $25,000 in profits in the last month alone in just um, these raffles. And for example, there is a current raffle that she is holding where it is a $1,300 bag. And with um, raffle ticket sell sales, she can make $2,400. And minus the price of the bag, that is basically a profit of over $1,000 on one single raffle. And again, I'm not going to say any names. It is up to you guys to figure that out. Um, there have been allegations of vigilantes out there in each of these accounts that are threatening to turn anybody in um, who are doing these raffles. And so it doesn't matter if you are, you know, doing a raffle just to try and get rid of an item that you're having a hard time selling or if it is these, um, you know, profiteering motivated raffles that these people are, you know, holding, there are people out there that are threatening to turn anybody in. And that's basically one of the things that, um, you know, made me not want to do any of this stuff anymore. All right, so now some of the points that I wanted to raise. As far as if you are thinking about running any of these raffles, just know that they are illegal. Um, you have to be a nonprofit and have proper permits in order to run any kind of raffle. And now these are um, specific to your state, so I would definitely recommend that you look at what your state laws are. Okay, now if you are caught, Instagram can shut down your account. And so, you know, this is just a clue out there if somebody contacts you or says that their Instagram account was um, shut down and it was weird. Um, <clears throat> and if caught, PayPal can close your account. And I received this comment in a previous in my previous video, but it doesn't matter if the people, you know, buying tickets are paying through friends and family because PayPal can still go into your bank account, take out the money, 
and still close out your account because they want their money and PayPal is no joke. PayPal will get their money. So will Uncle Sam. Um, so let's just call again Raffle Princess, the one that got her PayPal account frozen. There have been allegations and she even posted that people are trying to get refunds on um, raffles that they did not win. So just be careful about that. Um, if caught, the luxury house, let's say Chanel or Louis Vuitton, catches on to what you're doing, you can be banned from ever purchasing there again. Okay, so now here are some notes on whether or not you are thinking about participating in any of these raffles. Now these are, you know, if you're interested in even buying a ticket. So, Point number one, so these people, some of these people, I mean, there are some people out there that are conducting not profiteering, non-racketeering motivated raffles, but if you're participating in these raffles where the raffler is, you know, able to profit over a thousand dollars on the raffle, they're taking advantage of you. So they are basically using your weakness in trying to get a thousand dollar bag for fifty dollars to their advantage because if there are a ton of tickets the chances are of you winning is very slim and here is another allegation that i forgot to, to mention that in these in this raffle ring that i mentioned before um, how they are operating, allegedly, is that they are buying um, a fair number of tickets for or from each other's raffles. And for a minute, I started to think, oh, probably that's why these um, people have been selling out tickets very fast. And so if they ever conduct a live video and they show you the people that enter the raffles, just take note of who's entering these raffles. All right, so more points on if you're considering participating in these raffles is that um, supporting and participating in these illegal, act illegal raffles um, makes you a criminal too. Um, there is a paper trail whenever you give, you know, these people your money for these tickets. And so guess what? If they get busted, they are going there is going to be a paper trail that leads back to you um, as far as the ticket buyer so don't think that the person conducting the raffles are the only ones you know taking a risk so just be careful with that and the last point that i wanted to bring up was that if it's too good to be true then it most likely is and that's what I wanted to um, end this video with. Again, I don't want any drama. I just want to basically tell you guys what I've been told myself. And I want, or I hope that um, this is just in the right direction of putting a stop to these, to these raffles. Because let's just get back to talking about fashion and handbags and let's stop this bullshit about buying raffle tickets and trying to win you know a thousand dollar bags for fifty dollars you know that's not the community that i i want to be in so yeah with that i just wanted to you know thank you for your time and um yeah like i said leave your comments down in the in the comment boxes below. Until next time, you guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.